1976, yet I have not felt alive until today. I have always believed my past could not determine my future. That was until I saw a tragic video on the internet. I began to look at what I consider to be my shortcomings and cross-reference those flaws to specific events from my past. And contrary to my previous beliefs, I began to realize how my past actually affects the person I am today. Which is why today is the first day I feel alive. I have had a history of promiscuity, alcoholism, and drug abuse. These vices have built a dependent being who I have been working to emancipate for well over 20 weeks. The downside is I have traded each old vice for a new one. These new vices have become just as hazardous to my well-being as their predecessors. Instead of being promiscuous, I've developed a dysfunctional need to either be absent and single, or to be involved in a train wreck of a relationship merely for the constant access to a sex partner. I have willingly classified sex as love while not truly loving the person whom I had sex with. I have allowed women to live in my home without any contribution to the household outside of their sexual prowess. I cater to these significant others for the love of sex, and these significant others have sex with me only in the hopes that they can one day wound me off the vagina. It is my fault, merely because I should have the will to stay focused and not give in to the weakness of my flesh, right? I am a Christian, not Christ himself. I am the organist.